It's Monday morning, Lee Months, joined by Lindsay in for Dietra Detman on our Spotlight Show, which is Chamber Talk, as always, on a Monday morning. Hi, Lindsay. Good morning, Lee. Good to see your smiling face. I know you brought along a guest, yes, so I, I did. you uh, introduce I'd, him. I'd like to introduce Andy Rodifer from Perfect View Window Cleaning. He's our special guest today. Morning, Andy. Morning, everybody. Welcome, Andy. Can you tell us a little bit about your business and what services you offer? Yeah, um, be glad to. Um, obviously, I do a window cleaning. I do both uh, uh, commercial and residential. Um, do construction cleanups, that type of thing too. I've been in, been doing windows a little over twenty years wow. now, which is hard to believe that's that been been that many years. You're an expert now. Well, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> After that long, I should know how to do it. I think so. Um, so yeah, been in the area for. Uh, this will be the sixteenth year, I guess, I've been in the area, and um, so that's that's kind of what. Do you do I'm at. indoor and outdoor windows? Sure do. Yep. And uh, you also do clean solar panels, too, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. That's something that we've gotten more into as in the last few years. As solar has kind of made a a jump into into people's lives in this area. Yeah, as a non solar panel owner, I guess I didn't realize that getting that dust and grime off there would probably help them work better, right? Yeah. So I bet you get a lot of business. Uh, from all the people that take advantage that's, of the solar here. That's definitely a growing part of the, of the business, yes. How often do they have to be cleaned, Andy? Uh, that's kind of a thing that's up to uh, each individual property or, or business owner. And um, probably the environment if they're out <coughs> on a exactly, farm. Exactly. The, the dirtier the area, the more often they should have them done because exactly. that, that pollution, that detritus that collects on those panels, it, uh, it robs the efficiency of the solar panel itself. So to have them cleaned, it just, it just helps them work better. I'm sure, just like with windows, if you live on gravel, you yes. need to call Perfect View even yeah. ho- more often. That's right. That's right. That's what, that's what my hope is anyway, right? <laughs> and can you do two-story windows higher? Or, or are there any limitations <clears throat> of what you can reach? Well, uh, on hand, I have equipment that gets me up to uh, 30 feet or so, 35 feet. Wow. Um, I have been up in bucket lifts before. Uh, I think 50 foot is the highest. I don't like doing that. I, I bet. I try not to do it anymore. <laughs> when I was younger, I was a little braver. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, I any th- most most jobs in this area are are manageable for for the equipment we have. You say that you don't like doing that. I don't. I don't think I'm alone. But there's something about cleaning my own windows that I just really want to hire a <laughs> professional to do it. <laughs> well, that, one of my one of my things is uh, nobody wants to do it necessarily, nope. and that's my job security. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, find a niche and fill the niche. I, I guess. And I don't know. Did I ask this already? Do you you do indoor windows as well? Right? Yeah. Sure. Great. Do. Yeah. Sure. Right? Do. So you could get it sparkling clean from inside and out. And you, in fact, did our windows at the chamber office. Yes. We have those beautiful arched windows. They always look nice since you started doing it. Well, I hope so. Um, do you, what's your, do you come once a month or do you just come as needed? Again, that uh, depends on <clears throat> uh, the property or business owner. Um, there's, there's a, there's a, some companies have me come as often as every week. Wow. Uh, most it's- places don't necessarily need that. Uh, a lot of people are every other week, and then there's a lot like the chamber and, and a lot of others that are once a month. There's even a few that are just quarterly or spring, fall cleaning. So mm-hmm. it really just depends. Sounds like you're very flexible. Yeah, um, we'll try to be. What area do you serve? Outside of Fairfield? or? Um, right now, uh, well, I, I'm, I live in Ottumwa, but the business is mas- mostly centered in Fairfield, so obviously Fairfield. Um, I'm in Mount Pleasant once a week, or not once a week, once a month, excuse me. Uh, I have some work in Ottumwa. And even do a, a, a day's run of work down in Van Buren County. Excellent. So, so that's kind of where we're servicing right now. Wow. It sounds like you stay busy, and I bet you love these beautiful days like this. When, when it's like this, it makes it, uh, I wouldn't trade my job for anything. No kidding. So now, now, tomorrow when it's 40 and rainy, uh, well, you know, <laughs> maybe, then we'll talk again. But <laughs> <laughs> Well, last thing, how do your customers get in touch with you if they're interested in your services? Uh, the, the best way to get a hold of me anymore is my cell phone, because that's always with me. Uh, that number is 641 two three three zero eight two two um facebook we have a facebook page you can look us up on and um we also use the uh the old internet um <laughs> emails and the like so those are, those are all avenues you can get a hold of us with excellent thank you andy rotifer from perfect window perfect view window cleaning thank Th- you for joining us thank you very much guys i appreciate it we have a very busy week the chamber has been busy 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 but before we get into this week I was hoping I could touch on our business after hours. It was on St. Patrick's Day at Morrissey Law Office. And I just want to say how nice it was to see everyone. You were there, Lee. 
And uh, that John and his staff really know how to throw a, a great party. Yeah, they've had a lot of practice. They've been doing this for as long as you and I can remember. I know. And before that. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> but again, it was a great way to spend St. Patrick's Day for me. Sure was. And then bright and early the next day was our third legislative forum at the library. And if you couldn't quite get up that early, the day after St. Patty's, there's one more opportunity to hear from your legislators. It's April 15th from 730 to 9 a.m. Okay, so you, the last of the season. Right, and it's free for Jefferson County residents, and you don't need to make a reservation. You can just come, uh, but I would recommend coming early because all three of them have been packed, not a, not an empty seat. And where is that held at? At the Fairfield Public Library. Okay. 7.30 a.m., bright and early on April 15th. <laughs> all right, put it on your calendar, plan That's to be right. there, and it's a great opportunity to you know, throw things out to your, your representatives. Right. We got through quite a few questions and uh, it was a, another lively discussion. I bet. And happening this week, uh, the chamber is um, hosting a speed networking at Best Western this Tuesday. And it's sponsored by State Farm Insurance, Sean McCarty. And if you've already registered, we're asking that you tell your friends. And if you're on the fence and thinking about registering, we're asking that you do so today because unfortunately, this event is might be canceled due to lack of participation. We're really hoping to have about 20 to 30 people so that everyone has a chance to meet lots of new people, um, but we need to have that number before it can go on. So call me today, 472-2111, or you can email me, chamber at Fairfield, Iowa, and uh, get your name on the list. And there's no reason not to come. I can't think of a single job where it's not advantageous to meet new people, right? Exactly. And you might think that because you live in Fairfield, you know everybody, but I guarantee you'll meet new people if you come. Yeah, just like Andy this morning. Exactly. You know? <laughs> and it's free uh, for chamber members. You get a free drink and there's free appetizers. So please give us a call so we can make this event happen tomorrow. Also, the chamber has received wonderful feedback from our members over the last year, and we want to share all of your inspiring messages at the upcoming annual awards banquet. So we're seeking a very quick uh, chamber member testimonial for a promotional video that we're doing. Uh, if you're interested in participating, uh, Brittany or myself, along with Jason Strong from the Fairfield Media Center, will be out tomorrow and Wednesday capturing testimonial statements on video from as many members as possible. So your involvement is quite simple. All you have to do is provide just a sentence or two about something you value that the chamber is doing. It might be a program we've offered, a service we provide, information we publish, assistance you've received, or anything else you'd like to talk about. Or say, I had a great time at the St. Patrick's Day Business exactly. After Hours. We, we offer so many networking opportunities, exactly. and our chamber members value their membership for different reasons. So we would love to hear from you. And your name and company will also accompany the footage, so it will bring increased awareness to your company and uh, all the while promoting a message of support for your chamber. So if you're interested, just let me know, and we will come to you at a time that's convenient. And that'll be tomorrow and Wednesday. Yes. And uh, some chamber member events that are happening this week. The Extension Office is offering a fruit tree pruning class. They have both an indoor and an outdoor session. And that's going to be through the Extension Office, so you can contact them for more information. And then they're also putting on a free beekeeping class. Ooh. Is that something you would ever try? I just, <laughs> I, when I'm around bees, I run the other way. I love honey. Yes. But not that much. Yeah, not <laughs> no, enough I, to I hang really around I really was interested in going, and they said that it was a very, very busy class. So I'm sure they're, it's every Thursday in March. And they've had one already. And you don't have to go to all of them, but uh, they needed to find some more chairs. So th I'm glad that there's a lot of people that are interested yes. and more brave than I am. <laughs> I saw a TV show last week. It was, I think, uh, live with Kelly. And there was a guy literally covered with bees. I think they estimated like 75,000. Looked like he had a hood and and coat made of bees. And he said Yikes. he did get stung. I so, said, duh, <laughs> if you got yeah. that many bees, yeah. one of them surely you is You will. Gonna... Even if you're not out collecting the honey, I'm, you have bees on your property. So I'm sure it, yeah. the chance of getting stung is higher. But we do need a lot of people out there doing that. So we exactly. can have, have the bees. And... and they can do their pollinating exactly. and we can get our honey. <laughs> exactly. And the world will go on. <laughs> exactly. And one other event that I'd like to promote, uh, QPS Employment Group, they're having a job fair at the library this Friday from 11 to 1, and they have a couple different jobs that they're specifically hiring for, so you can check out their website for more information about that. Okay. And then coming up, we have our Retail Managers Working Group. This is Monday, March 27th, a week from today. If you're a retail or restaurant manager, please join us at Health and Wholeness at 8 a.m. next Monday. 
This is a free information share for chamber members and potential chamber members. And we're hoping to see this as an ongoing kind of collaboration between the, the different uh, businesses. Sure. Next on the calendar is a program to help your bottom line called Undercovering, Undercovering the Costs of Credit Cards on Thursday, March 30th. To accommodate more member schedules, we're holding two sessions, one in the morning from 7.45 to 9 a.m. and one at lunch from 11.45 to 1 p.m. And these will both be held at Revelations. And um, let's see, looking ahead to next month, of course, we have our annual awards banquet coming up. We've been very busy in the office planning and organizing for this. Um, and a lot of you have been to the banquet, but something new this year is our theme. It's the Chamber All-Stars. And uh, we're asking that if you're um, interested, you can reserve a table and then you can bring a centerpiece with your favorite sports team. Ah. So if you're rooting for the Cubs or the Hawkeyes or something. Or the Cardinals. Or whatever. <laughs> you can come and show your, show your support. And um, you can drop the centerpiece off and we'll put it out for you. Or you can come and do it yourself. It's just something fun that we want to get our members involved and kind of enhance the whole sports theme. That's cool. And I could see some red plates, some gold, black and gold plates. Your creative juices are endless whatever you, you can, can come up with yep exactly and you can get your employees together to um brainstorm brainstorm yep and we're also looking for all types of sports related equipment jerseys trophies etc to adorn this celebration we'll have things up all around uh i personally don't have very much sports memorabilia <laughs> <laughs> You're i'm not, not a big, big sports, sports fan, fan yeah. but i think i'm going to learn a lot from organizing this banquet that's for sure so we'll drag you into it kicking and screaming <laughs> next thing you know you'll be wanting to watch the ncaa championship game here Possibly. in a couple weeks <laughs> <laughs> And if you could, so if you can help us out and you're willing to let us borrow any items from your collection, contact our event coordinator, Brittany Tiller, at events at fairfieldiowa.com. And we, she can also take uh, your table reservations. And we also are taking reservations for individuals as well. And Brittany's into sports. Yes, she's, she is. She's got a lot of great ideas. And, you and will she's get very the, creative. Exactly. And you will get the things back, obviously. Oh, of course. We'll them, so. mark who they are. Yeah, yeah. And um, it, it'll be nice and easy. That's awesome. Lastly, I am so excited to report that we have had our first session planning to take advantage of the Fairfield Community School District's monthly in-service day. Uh, they're calling the program Fairfield Works and are launching it on Monday, April 17th at Cambridge Investment Research. So pre-registered pre high school students will have the opportunity to visit Cambridge and to learn how the company got started, the wide variety of jobs and employee backgrounds, why Cambridge is one of the Iowa's top 100 workplaces, and what students can do now to help prepare themselves for applying and interviewing for jobs. So if you're interested or if you'd like more information, you can contact the Chamber, as always, 472-2111. All right. Or the email? Chamber at fairfieldiowa.com. Okay. Or you're welcome to stop by and see me at the Chamber office. We're right next to the post office. You bet. Right across the street from First Baptist Church. That's and right. Close to the fire station. Come check out our sparkling windows. <laughs> there you go. The, the clean windows. That's right. Uh, any idea when the next business after hours would be? It's in April, okay. uh, the Carnegie Historical Museum. Oh, cool. And it's the end of April. I, I don't have the date in front that, of me, but it's fine. on our chamber calendar. Is it on a Thursday? I think so. Okay, because uh, generally they, they are on I think Thursdays. It's the last or the second to last Thursday. Okay. But um, Mark Schaefer going to host that? Yes. Yeah, great. Yeah, Mark's so into the Carnegie Museum. Yes, and they put up. Good put on a good party too yeah if you've never been there it's, it's, it's really cool it, it's incredible the things it's, he has collected it's a little gem in Fairfield yeah and it's one of those that it sometimes gets overlooked exactly uh, it just it's like you say a hidden treasure so if never been there that's definitely one you and if somebody wants to do a business after hours this year they can just contact yes, you we still have a couple of months open okay so please right. do I know we haven't had one here at the radio station. I have to talk well, to Tammy. That would be fun. Yeah, yeah. We, we did one. I know back. we bring our leadership Fairfield group up here, yeah. and they love seeing everything. I mean, it, how when else do you have an opportunity to see where all the magic happens? Exactly. Up here? <laughs> yeah. And I've been told I have a face for radio. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, Lindsay, thanks for coming up. Thank you, Lee. Always. And thank you, Andy. Yeah. Thank you. Again, Andy, from the name of the business? Perfect View Window Cleaning. 641-233-0822. All right. So thanks to Lindsay for Chamber Talk on this Monday here at 1570 KMCD.